Thank you, last Kerlock. Um, Minister, well, just one minute, I just want to really focus on what I would call the M1 corridor, the corridor between Dublin and Belfast. So on that part of the island of Ireland, we have 3.3 million people live there. It's set to hit 4 million people by the time of 2030. And I think it's absolutely paramount that high-speed rail becomes a key priority for that corridor. And I know with the strategic rail review, that's what I would be putting in my submission when I take part in the consultation process. The reason why I believe it should be a key priority is because it's not about just creating jobs in Dublin and expecting everyone to commute to Dublin. It's about a two-way process. It's about being able to attract people from Dublin to come and work in Drogheda, to come and work in people from North County Dublin to come and work in Dundalk. It's also about encouraging people from Dundalk or that part of the North East to then go and work in Belfast or to work in Northern Ireland if job opportunities are provided there. It has to be a two-way street. Uh, and if this project is meant to be successful by 2030, which I think it will be, it will be successful if we are able to balance the regions, if we can ensure, because we are creating jobs in those regions, but we have to make sure it's easy and accessible for people to take jobs there and to be able to get from there from where they're currently living. And if we think we can do that, this project will be a, a total success. Thank you, Senator.